hello from the rehab center. I asked Spike to come over after much thought last night and create a video clip message to everybody. Started a roller coaster ride two weeks ago with a punch in the gut with what everybody knows that I'm dealing with. Having a very tough time dealing with it, um, but remaining as a positive attitude as I can on, you know, God dealt me a curveball. I'm just trying to figure out how to line up and knock the curveball out of the park. My biggest hang up right now is trying to figure out how to repay what has been done for my family so far is my biggest concern. I'm used to being on the other side. And I wanted you guys to hear it from me. And I talked to Spike and he came over to do this for me so that he could post it so you hear it from me. That I am so thankful for everything. I'm so grateful for the way everything happened. Roles could have been different. But you got to believe me, it's hard, very hard for me to sit here and try and keep that on the website about no visitors. And I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to shun somebody away from being here or coming to see me. There's been people that have been here and I welcome that. I cannot say thank you enough for the amount of guys that showed up Tuesday and Wednesday night. I wanted to talk to each and every one of you. I'd love to do that now. But please help me that I that everybody understands I'm not trying to keep anybody away. My goal is to get back in the car and be back to work, but so that I can remain focused on what I need to do to make myself better, I just ask for the time to be with the family. I have had some tremendous times with my brother. He comes every morning. Our schedules don't coincide enough for us to be together and do some stuff and we've had some just some great talks and then that should have been been going on for years so please understand I'm not trying to keep anybody away just trying to do what's best for me and my family right now to get better so I can get back in that car and be back there and I'm gonna I'm gonna get there it's getting knocked out of the park all the rumors of everything you know you can see here I am, I'm, you know, it, it, it's going good. They're beating the shit out of me in therapy. Um, probably doing me some good, but my schedule is so full during the day. I've got a minimum of three hours of therapy a day where they work with everything and they're doing a great job. They've actually accomplished and some stuff that from my previous injury in 97 that I'm doing some things that has astonished even Diane saw it that, you know, I can pick my right leg up now with I can never do that from that so the staff here has been wonderful they're doing great and being able to remain focused is my main thing um, I'm thinking or it's sounding like I may be being released for outpatient care and everything shortly we are trying to devise a plan with the assistance of several different people for once I go home I'll go home to finish my rehab from there and uh, try and figure out a, a signaling system or something. I know I've got a long road ahead of me. I know I've got a lot of bad days probably coming. Just so everybody knows, since this happened last Saturday, every day they come in here and ask me, I've had, I, I've not experienced any, I'm just waiting for the ball to drop because I've not experienced any pain, any problem or anything. I just keep doing what they tell me to do and th that's what I'm gonna do. So we're, once I get home, like I said, we're trying to come up with a plan. I know, you know, with uh, I have meetings tomorrow about uh, uh, radiation and, and chemo and you know, figure out what my next step of this process is going to be. And I know there's going to be some good days, bad days, but I, I, I keep everybody posted with a system, you know, however we're going to do it. And, you know, it's a good day to visit. It's not a good day to visit. And, you know, once I can get into the settled routine, you know, I welcome anybody. I'd love to have each and every one of you here, everybody. Uh, it's just my goal right now is to remain focused on whatever I need to do to get better, to get back in the car, to get back onto the street with you guys. And please, everybody's telling me I don't need to worry about it. Every, you know, everything that's being done, I'm trying to figure out how to pay it back. 
and I just don't know what I'm going to do. Everybody tells me not to worry about it, but peace of mind for myself. I needed to say it for myself that it is still a concern, a worry, you know, trying to figure out how to pay back. And I, every one of you is out there. I can't thank you enough for everything that's been done. And it was just a peace of mind for me to do this, to, to say, please don't take it the wrong way. I'm not trying to shun anybody away. It's just I need to stay focused to do what I need to do to beat this thing. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it. It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm getting back in the car. I'm going to do what I got to do. And please help me do that so I can stay focused. And again, I'm sorry. I hope nobody thinks that, but it makes me feel better. Even amongst the tears, there's been a lot of tears here for the last two weeks too, trying to deal with this. But uh, doing what I got to do, and just want to stay focused, and you know, keep everything. And again, thanks, thanks for everything that's been done so far. And somehow, some way, I will repay everybody for everything that's been done. And uh, either through the website or you know, however, you know, I will do my best to keep everybody up to date. Again, once I move home. Everybody will know and come up with some type of plan. Everybody is welcome in my home. You, you guys, like I said, my, when I say family, my immediate family has been with me the whole time, and that's who I was focusing on, not that the fire service isn't a family. All the brothers and sisters out there, you're all family too. It's the extended family, but, you know, I just, everybody is welcome. I'm not going to turn anybody away. It's just help me right now and don't think I'm trying to push people away so that I can stay focused to do what I need to do um, and it, it just makes me feel better to sit here and say that everybody's telling me I didn't have to do this Spike I'm so appreciative of you coming over here and taking time out of your schedule to do it for me so that everybody can see it and I thought it would be better that everybody would see to quell the rumors as to you know that I am up and around I'm up every day I'm not allowed to get up out of the chair unless there's a nurse here our medics can be here and everything they won't allow that but you know, I'm up walking the hallway. As a matter of fact, the, the surgery was Thursday, and I had walked the hallway already Friday. So, which was, they were astonished by that. They didn't expect me to walk for three to four days just from the paralysis from the surgery. And I've had a lot of comments from a lot of the doctors and the rehab people here that, you know, some remarkable recovery and strength already. So, so far it has worked for me trying to remain focused like that. And that's my goal, just to remain focused. And I just, you know, don't want anybody to get the wrong impression. I'm not trying to limit people and keep people away. It's just the fact I need to stay focused on the job at hand here. It doesn't sound right for me to sit here and say it, but I really don't care about anything anymore other than me and my family and getting better so that I can get back in the car and run calls again and do what I did, you know, before this happened to me Saturday. So. I hope that explains to everybody and everybody understands and we'll keep everybody in the loop best we can with the help of Spike and my brother with the website from the Western Berks Fire Department too and you know, I know guys, you know, a lot of guys have been calling, I'm hearing a lot and I just don't know how I'm going to repay you all and thank you all for everything that's been done and whatever happens here in the future and they just keep astonishing me on more stuff that some things that just happened just now, and I'm sure you'll see it. Spike's going to write about it and just catch me off guard with everything that's, that's happening. So, thanks. I'm sorry again. Like I said, I'm not trying to, to push people away. Just help me, you know, remain focused and everything. And I appreciate all the thoughts and prayers, and that's what I need the most right now. You know, prayers for everything. I know people have told me they're praying and everything, and it's, that's what I need. Like I said, I just wanted a couple minutes, didn't want to make it real long. Don't want to take, take up too much time on the website, but um, just wanted you to hear it from me that, you know, please don't take it as I'm trying to pe keep people away. I would love each and every one of you is here today, but uh, I just need to maintain my focus to get better so I can get back in the car and be back in the street, back in the stations with you guys. Once they let me, I'm coming around to visit, or somebody's going to drive me around, I will be around to visit. But like I said, I'm just waiting for the ball to drop because I know there's going to be good days and bad days. But, you know, well, one day at a time. One day at a time is all I can do. And just trying to line up the bat to knock the curveball out of the park. Love you guys, and I'll keep you posted.